in its heyday of the late 1970s and early 80s, with a fleet of over a dozen charter boats, Fleetwood was a premier sea angling port, particularly in the north of England, with a catchment extending as far north as the Scottish border and south to the Midlands and North Wales. By the turn of the century, its status, boats and anglers had all but deserted it. Some put this sudden decline down to the austerity of the Thatcher years. With widespread unemployment or the fear of it, particularly in the north, priority spending took precedence over pleasure. By the time it was all over, a great many would-be anglers had simply lost the habit of going afloat. The fish are still there, but nobody, it seems, is interested in catching them anymore. Ironically, with inshore trawling following a similar pattern of decline, theoretically at least, there should be even more fish to go around. Obviously, nothing remains the same forever, and this is equally true of fish, whose population numbers can fluctuate in cycles. Rays, for example, are no longer as thick on the ground as they were back then. But to counter this, the bass fishing has never been better. Cod numbers, and particularly the bigger fish, are also down. But everything else is pretty much as the boat shown in this film left it, except of course for angler numbers. As you will very quickly gather, there was no marina back then. Both the fish key and the commercial dock were still in regular use. Angling boats, either tied up to a mooring in the river or berthed up along Jubilee Quay, but all had to pick up from the ferry beach by nosing into the side and pulling over a ladder for the parties to climb on board. A little antiquated by today's standard perhaps, but effective nonetheless. Then, it was off into Morecambe Bay or around Russell Point, depending on the season or the weather. The angler shown here with the fish is Pete Smith, crewman aboard Liquidator, later to become skipper of Wandering Star, then berthing manager at Fleetwood Marina. This is his take on Fleetwood's charter fishing history. In the, uh, in the early days, the, the, uh, the anglers used to come down the beach. Midweek wasn't awfully busy, but weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, they'd sort of turn up willy-nilly. Come down the beach and there you go into Sea Skipper. Um, they climb up the ladder and we go. And I, I think it was, I think it was about three pounds we used to charge in those days. And then we perhaps got a little bit more professional. Guys were turning up on the beach and they couldn't get, uh, they couldn't get a peg on the boat. So they would. Uh, eventually, we had a booking office, so to speak. It was your wife was at home answering the phone calls, and it, it worked well. There was uh, there was more boats came on the fleet. Um, the fishing was good. We didn't have to go an awful long way away to catch fish. Um, obviously in the winter there was the cod and the whiting. Summertime, the place, the dabs, the bass. Um, the boats got better themselves over the years. Much, much better. We started off with old wooden boats with, with small four-cylinder engines that used to work on three cylinders most of the time. And better boats, faster boats, better safety equipment. Um, steering aids and depth sounders, radars, goodness knows what. And it got, uh, it got very busy. Um, I, I think at the peak, um, Jubilee Quay, um, I think there was some 11 boats in the Jubilee Quay. And there was three or four out midweek. And Saturdays and Sundays, we would have 
there would be 11 of the of the fleet out, all the fleet would be out Saturdays and Sundays and that there was 12 anglers a ship used to go to sea. Yeah, but then it began to slip into decline. It certainly did. We, uh, we went down, um, people were earning as much money as they were at one time. Um, the licensing of the ships, we had to have sealed bulkheads, we had to have um, life rafts, radars, it all cost money. Then the price of the fares went up, um, the, the fishing wasn't as good as it used to be. And the fleet started going down, um, sealed bulkheads and fire, um, fire um, equipment down below. Not an awful lot of money nowadays, but you're talking about a thousand pounds. They just didn't have a thousand pounds to pay for it. The life raft, thousand twelve hundred pounds to buy a life raft, and you needed two. There's only six men in one life raft, so you needed two two life rafts on the ship. Um, needed paying for. The, the prices had to go up. Um, the fishing went, and a lot of the anglers went. What part do you think the recessions of the Thatcher years played in this decline? A lot, a lot, Phil. Um, the, the ordinary working chap that, that goes fishing um, at weekends, he, he just didn't, like you say, he didn't have the money. Just didn't have the money to spend. That was one of the things that went first. So when did the decline in the charter fleet really start to show, and how progressive was it? Probably about um, mid 70s. Probably mid 70s. Just awfully quick. The, the, the boats were out, they were out, they were fishing, and then within a couple of years, there's no fleet. The boats have got old, there was no money to replace the boats because the anglers weren't coming. Um, and, and it wasn't until mid 80s that there was a few more boats on the scene. Um, certainly the, the newest and the fastest boats that the Fail Coast had ever seen, Morecambe Bay. Much better craft, um, craft with more safety gear, faster engines. It was back on top, but um, it, it, it took a big dip at one time. A big, big dip. Yeah, but now that's gone too. That's gone as well. We've gone from from the 11 boats, and I think on, on the Fowl Coast at the moment, there's one registered fishing vessel to go to sea, a charter boat. Yes, it's, um, it's very sad. And the, the fishing, there's not as many trawlers as we know in, uh, in Morecambe Bay now. I think with, with 10 registered fishing vessels, in the, in the wide dock, um, there's only probably six of those go to sea on a regular basis. Consequently, there's a lot more fish out there, so there is fish to be caught in Morecambe Bay now. Thank <laughs> you.